Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall in the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. 15 rounds in the middleweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. He's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Monzon's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. If the low stamina fighter does not get rid of a high stamina fighter in the early going of a fight, what can he possibly do to try and secure himself a win. Well, one thing he's gonna do is grab a lot on the inside and keep it slow. Really not allow the pace to get away from him. Stay away from those. Back to the body. Now there's the jab. an impactful right hand by Carlos Monzon. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Scored well up top. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good way to protect the midsection. Able to dismiss that body shot. There's the hook. and it does damage. Able to land with the right. Nice, nice. And he's holding. Headshot lands was a hook. That's a nice right hand that time by Carlos Monzon. Last 10 seconds of this first round.
this round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. Now, Teddy, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. Carlos Monzon's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And he just holds on there. Let it go. Monzon's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Unable to connect by Carlos Monzon. Carlos Monzon scoring with that right hand. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Carlos Monzon. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. <laughs> Carlos Monzon's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Good return fire that time. Able to dismiss it. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. Here you go. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're tighten up your punches, all right? Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. He couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Able to cover up that gut. Teddy, based on what we're seeing here early on, I think he was much too amped up for this fight. He came out, he was hyper with the way he was throwing punches, and now he's starting to tire. Yeah, I agree with you, Joe. He started too fast. He threw a lot of punches, but not effective punches. He didn't place those shots, and now he's paying a price. 
Great movement to get away from those punches. Now hugging on the inside. And here he goes again with the clinching. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Monzone's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Well, his opponent got away from that uppercut. That was a nice hook that landed that time by Carlos Monzone. Good looking two punch combination there. A little give and take and here comes the left hand. Yourself. Comes with the right. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Relax, relax. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Back to the body. Listen now, you let them work. You let him control this fight. I don't know. I don't. You know. You, you got. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You need to move your head more. Okay. Side to side. Monzone's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Hook! Hook! Work the body, kid! Body shots! Back to the body! Monzone's starting to bleed from the nose. Scores up top with a left. Keep going. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Monzone's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Throws a counter punch there. Hey, you got some. 
A well-placed overhand right. Good work defensively by Carlos Monzon. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And round four comes to an end. Monzon's well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Where's your hook at? Come on, now. you're stronger than him. You need the hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. One more shot to the body. Okay, listen. Round number five has arrived. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches. But the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have to stand where you could hit the ball where your feet are pointing. That's the problem. His feet are crooked. They're pointing the wrong way, and his punches are going the wrong way. Hey, hey, let's go! Carlos Monzon's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Punch! Punch! Now he ties up there. I see it! Like what I see in there! Halfway into round number five here. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. A Hate good block. <laughs> Blocks that punch. You see him holding on. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Blocks that punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Carlos Monzon. Left and right, left and right. Not able to land the headshot. Unable to score with the hook. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Block that punch. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? The 
start of the sixth round. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. rising back up. That takes some guts. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Focus! This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Uppercut. Halfway through round six. Monzone's really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Keep it going. <laughs> and we count down the final moments of this round. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Now you gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning this fight, man. You're not winning. He's beat. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Carlos Monzon's quarter men did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Hey, you gotta see that coming, I'll show. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Put your body, kid. Body shots. Left and right, left and right. 
Monzon's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Distance, such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. Could this be the start of a big... Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. The fight is over. Carlos Monzon's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. You know, Teddy, not long ago when we put up your scorecard on the screen, I noticed somebody from his corner looking up at the big Jumbotron here in the arena. They knew he was losing this fight. Yeah, but that's smart use of information. They got it to him, they let him know, and they got the results they wanted, they needed. The result, a knockout victory. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.